welcome back uh, to this new video and uh, new interview question and uh, in this one we're going to be uh, looking at uh, basically a, a very popular interview question um, that's been asked uh, like you know a whole bunch of times and once again it's related to arrays and uh, this one is basically uh, you're given an array of integer and basically what you need to do is you need to find if that array contains any duplicates okay so uh basically um your job is just to find out if the array contains a duplicate or not so you basically return true if it has a duplicate and you just return a false if every element is basically unique or every element is distinct for example if you take a look at the example section here below uh, you have one two three and one now clearly in this one uh, one is a duplicate so when we reach uh, to the very end of the item uh, we're gonna say yes um, you know uh, there's a duplicate so we're gonna return true here the output is gonna be true and uh, then second example is where one, two, three, four is, are the items uh, in the array. And the output is false because every item is distinct. And the last one is uh, one, one, one. So we already know it has duplicates. So you get uh, basically true as, a, as an output. Now, uh, I mean, as a follow-up question to interviewers, you can actually ask, like, you know, if the, or, uh, if the array is sorted and, um, if like you know if it is not sorted and if you have a solution that actually uh, can work with sorting uh, you can actually very well uh, start uh, that direction but remember um, that uh, uh, sorting uh, can increase uh, your time complexity uh, we haven't covered uh, sorting yet we're gonna cover it in future uh, but um, just so you know like the fastest sorting is uh, n log n uh, time complexity so that is going to be your time complexity for the for the algorithm it doesn't matter like you know how um, good solution you can find uh, you're still gonna run into n log n uh, time complexity because sorting itself has that time complexity okay just keep it keep that in mind but sorting is a great solution and remember like whatever solution comes to your mind okay um, the important thing is to solve the problem first and then you can optimize it later on but having that first solution is the key basically that shows that you have actually worked out a solution and then you can work on the improvement and it's a it's an iterative process so you can actually um sell it that way just so yeah just go with the solution and that's the most important thing. all right with that said uh we are uh, going to take a pause here and uh, I'm going to give you an opportunity to basically uh, take a first stab at it. And then uh, after, once you're like, you know, once you have looked at the question, uh, developed a, a potential hypothesis on how to solve it, uh, and basically probably solve it, uh, like, you know, you can always uh, unpause and see our solution. So uh, I'm going to take a uh, five, 10 second pause uh, so you can actually uh, uh, pause the video here and try out your own solution. Okay, so I'm gonna take a pause. All right, so uh, hope that went well, and uh, we're gonna continue with one of the potential solutions that we came up with. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that. So in this solution, what we have done is uh, we have actually employed uh, one of the techniques that we learned in the last um, few questions. And, and like I mentioned in the last video, uh, uh, it's gonna happen more often where like, you know, you're gonna, uh, when you're solving these questions, you're gonna run into solutions where like, you know, they look similar or basically learnings from previous solutions is gonna come to you to solve the new one. All right, so um, that's how we generate new neurons. Like, you know, they actually sort of find the relations from previous experiences and like, you know, create a new experience. So anyways, um, there you go. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna simply create an array, um, like, you know, basically just to uh, alter that array. Um, 
but we don't need we don't really need because you're not doing any alterations so this step is not needed uh, so you can just remove that one um and then we create we're gonna definitely create a map and uh, in the map or dictionary we're gonna actually wanna uh, keep track of whatever numbers we have actually seen so far okay so we're gonna iterate over all the all the numbers in the array and we're gonna say if dictionary contains that element, then we're gonna return true immediately, okay? There's no point waiting because uh, the solution, the, the interviewer is asking just to return true or false if there is uh, a duplicate, all right? They don't want that, what that duplicate is. They don't want anything else. They just wanna know if there's any duplicate in the array, okay? So in that case, what we're gonna do is simply gonna return true here. If we cannot find the item in the dictionary, then we are simply going to uh, add that item with uh, its count as one into the dictionary, all right? Now, at the end, if this uh, goes through and uh, all the items are added into the array, into the dictionary, um, that means that all the items are distinct. So we simply return false. Now, if you notice that uh, we didn't sort our, uh, our array because array here because like you know we don't need to sort it um that actually um, brought our time complexity down to o of n because we are only iterating over uh, this array once okay so let's take a look at uh, like you know how we are going to uh, solve it so um uh, contains loop and it's going to take an array And it's simply gonna return a boolean. So, yeah. so we're gonna create our dictionary. Like so, we're gonna iterate over our array. And uh, while iterating over, if we say if dictionary has that item, so dictionary item is not equal to nil, I, that means that item is found, we simply return true. Okay. Otherwise, we are going to say dictionary, take this item and add one as its value. And at the end, we are simply going to return false because we are we are in the situation where all the items are unique, okay? So let's test it out. We're gonna do print, contains tubes, one, two, three, one. Let's run this, and it is true, that is correct. And uh, let's change it to four maybe. False, that is true, and uh, just add four at the end, and that is true. Eventually, at the very end, it's gonna find a duplicate. So yeah, so that's how uh, you are uh, going to solve this uh, contains uh, duplicate uh, problem or interview question. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, once again, we discussed about the time complexity of n because we are trading once. So go ahead and like compute it. Um, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.